hello guys good evening everybody and once again welcome back to our youtube channel today in this video we are going to discuss what is an auxiliary web and how many types of auxiliary webs are there and how to use an auxiliary web first of all let us define what is an auxiliary web an auxiliary web is a word which helps the main web to construct a sentence an auxiliary web is to decide the tense of a given sentence we can know the tense of a given sentence by knowing the auxiliary verb auxiliary verb will decide the mood of a sentence so auxiliary verb is a keyword works in a sentence along with main verb so let us know more information about these auxiliary verbs auxiliary verbs can be classified into two types and almost there are 23 auxiliary verbs they are am is are was were have has had been be being and will would shall should do did does and also can could must may might let us know once again am is are was were have has had be being been do did does will would shall should can could must may and might so like this there are 23 helping verbs helping verbs they are also called auxiliary verbs and there are some modal verbs also there may might can could must these auxiliary verbs can be called as modal auxiliary verbs so auxiliary verbs can be classified into two types primary auxiliary verbs and modal auxiliary verbs can could may might and must these five auxiliary verbs can be called as modal auxiliary verbs and the remaining auxiliary verbs are called primary auxiliary verbs so how to use auxiliary verb and how to construct a sentence by using an auxiliary verb and how to form a question and here is the main thing that a question can be formed by using only an auxiliary verb by using auxiliary verbs we can make different kinds of questions if a question starts with an auxiliary verb that can be as or no question but it is not informative question if you want to make a question simply put an auxiliary verb before starting of the sentence if a question starts with an auxiliary verb this is an sr question sr no question we can easily understand if a question starts with wh forms it's an informative question that means we have to give some information if this question is asked if the question starts with an auxiliary verb that's an sr no questions for example is this your pen is it your school are you going to school today am i looking like an actor so like that any question that starts with an auxiliary verb is an sr no question but the question which starts with the double h forms like where when why what which those kind of words they are called informative questions so we should give some information if the that kind of questions are asked so let us know briefly about an auxiliary verbs come on let's take a look at this video yes these are the auxiliary verbs we have discussed earlier there are 23 auxiliary verbs there are let us read them first am is a was were being been be has have had did shall will should 
would, may, might, must, can, could, does, do. These are the auxiliary verbs. There are totally 23 auxiliary verbs and there are some model auxiliary verbs are there. They are may, might, must, can, could. They are called model auxiliary verbs. They also <coughs> can be used along with the auxiliary verbs. We can make different types of questions by using auxiliary verbs. Let us know the examples. Let us know the examples with every auxiliary verbs given in the list. Let us make one sentence by using every, each and every auxiliary verbs given in the list. Okay? Come on. 23 auxiliary verbs. Let us make a sentence by using each and every auxiliary verbs from the list. Okay? Let us read them now. I am talking over phone. Here am is the auxiliary verb. This is my new bike. Is is the auxiliary verb. They are various. It was there at the time. They were studying in that school during 2010-11. She can never be happy with him. You have been a very good boy. My teacher scolds me for being late. And I had a bicycle in my childhood. They have a big house. She has a beautiful daughter. I do it every day. She does exercise regularly. He did it very well. We will learn English. They would be happy. We shall serve our country. We should respect our elders. It may rain today. She might be at home. You must. You must attend the meeting. Everyone can do it. He could get the medal. So, these are the sentences we make by using auxiliary verbs and we can make the question from the given sentence by using the auxiliary verbs very easily. Let me explain in this video that how to make a question from the given sentence by using auxiliary verb. If we take the first sen sentence given here, I am talking over phone. Here, am is the auxiliary verb. If we, if we Put the am at the starting of the sentence. If we bring the am in front of the sentence, if we bring the am before I, for example, here I can write am I talking over phone. Like that we can make a question very easily. we should bring the auxiliary verb at the starting point of the sentence am i talking over phone it will be a question we can make it as a question very easily by transforming the place of an auxiliary verb in the sentence we just put the auxiliary verb at the starting of the sentence this is my new bike is this my new bike they are variants are they variants it was there at that time was it there at that time? They were studying in that school during 2010-11. Were they studying in that school? Thus, we can convert a sentence into a question by moving an auxiliary verb from the sentence. So, but the questions starts with auxiliary verbs are SR no questions only. They are not informative questions. We just answer S or no. Those questions which are started with auxiliary verbs okay this is all about auxiliary verbs i hope that you got the concept thank you very much let's meet with the best video in the next video signing off your sham kumar bye